Hey everybody, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. We are bringing you an unboxing and putting together and testing outing video of uh, this little pull behind cart I got from my Troy Built Riding Lawn Mower. It's a nine cubic feet steel cart that can haul up to 350 pounds worth of materials. We got it because we're heading into heavy duty cutting and splitting firewood season now here that it's October and I'm getting older and I just can't carry heavy stuff as far as I used to and we've been dragging stuff around on sleds for years and I finally decided, actually I've been thinking about getting this for a couple of years, but it cost all of $118 and I hate to part with my hard earned money and it took me two years to decide to buy it. So I finally did. So we're gonna unbox it and I read the instructions. It looks like we're gonna need a 5 16 inch wrench and a flat screwdriver to put it together. So I'm gonna make sure to also get a shovel, a garden rake, and some hedge clippers just in case. But for now, looks like here's the, here's the one part. Looks like here's another part. A lot of people are much better at putting things together than me, and a lot of people know what certain parts are actually called. I don't. So I just call them the one part. And there's a couple other parts. Fortunately, it's steel. I guess it's okay. Here's a part. It's four parts in there. They all look the same. Here's a couple parts. I'm sure it says what they are in the diagram of the instructions. Hmm, here's something. Two more parts. Here's another part. There's so many parts. <laughs> Here's a part. <laughs> Where are you? Honey? Yeah? Did you take this off? <laughs> Here's the last of the parts. Looks like these two parts and all these little things. Okay, so let me go get the 5 16 wrench, flat screwdriver, shovel, guarding shears. Um, what else did I say I was going to get? I don't know. A rake. And by the look of these things, I'm probably going to have to get a hammer too. So I'm going to go get my tools and then we'll check back in with you once I start getting some of these parts put together. Guys, so far, fortunately, this seems to be easier than, than uh, I thought it might be as long as I don't fall off the porch. But uh, it shows you step-by-step -step instructions and it's basically just lining up holes and putting in, uh, putting the thingy-majig into the doodaddle. And then um, I haven't needed to use my shovel or my shears so far. All I've needed is, the, like they said, a 5 16 inch wrench, which I, I'm terrible with wrench sizes, so I use this one size fits all. So I'm using a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver, like it suggested. And I stick the thingamajig in the doodaddles and just tighten it right up. Look at that. See that? And so far, so good. Now, one thing I have learned throughout the years is not to make everything super duper tight until you got everything lined up and you got all of the thingamajiggies, all the thingamajiggies inside of all the doodaddles. Then it's okay to go ahead and tighten things up. 
so so far so good and we'll we'll uh, check back in with you later and let you know how we're doing okay guys just bringing you another update um, so far so really really good I am like the the least mechanically inclined guy in the world I suck at building things I suck at putting things together um, I'm one of the worst homesteaders on YouTube so that's why I really am amazed at this product it's like the instructions are so simple everything's prefabricated it fits together like a puzzle to where even a guy who is very badly mechanically inclined can follow the simple instructions and put it together um, it just goes together piece by piece like a puzzle points it out to you and I'm going to go around and tighten, tighten these up as tightly as I can here with my crescent wrench, which I'm using. I don't have a 5 16 of wrench or it's somewhere in clutter. But uh, with just a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver and these simple instructions, I've been able to do this. And I'm not very good at doing this kind of things. So i uh, bring you another update here in just a few more minutes. Okay, guys, I just completed what seems to be the most difficult part of this challenge or this task, and it wasn't very difficult, and I was impressed that I could do it by myself. And I pointed out to you, um, it's these slats that go on underneath here where it appears as if the axle is going to go here some point soon, but uh, you simply just, I had to drop the screws down from inside, and now I have long arms, and I was able to do this by myself. And again, I am bad at putting things together. <clears throat> but then I put these do hickama jiggy things here on through the holes, started tightening it up. I did all this by myself, and I suck at this kind of stuff. So worst case scenario, you might have to ask maybe your spouse, your partner, a child, whoever's there with you for some help, a neighbor. But guys, the more and more I put this thing together, <laughs> it's this cart by Ohio Steel Industries. I, I got it on walmart.com. Um, I'm not being paid to promote this cart or walmart.com, but here on our channel, when we find things that work well for us, we like to share that with our subscribers. So, so far, I am highly impressed with this. I'm going to keep putting it together and see if that attitude stays the same all the way through to the end. Okay, per the instructions, I've now put on this undercarriage beam and the axle, and this was so simple. Uh, one thing I'll point out here is you just want to make sure that these grooves line up, and to get them to catch, you just... You, you pull out on this. I don't want to do it because I don't want to untouch this. But you got to make sure that that catches under there. When you put it together, you'll see exactly what I mean. And then this axle just lines up through the holes with spacers. We still haven't tightened our, our bolts and, and nuts yet. And then from here, these tires, and I already did this. I put them on. I don't think I can do it one-handed, but I put them on and put them off. These just slide right on and clamp on with the clamps in the bag. And then we tighten everything up and we're pretty much done. So let me do that and I'm going to show you the final finished assembled product. Well guys, there it is. The finished product. Um, the There was really no most challenging part to it. And again, I'm not very good at putting things together. One of the things I liked is here when I got to the tailgate part, you don't even need... To, to uh once you attach the mounts the tailgate just slides right down into there you don't even need to uh use any of the thingamabobs or doohickeys just goes right down into those grooves like that and then there's a lip that attaches on the top so it's ready to go so now should i go get my lawnmower and drive it up the porch and attach it or should i take this down into the yard and bring the lawnmower around I don't think I could get the lawnmower up those stairs. So I think I'm going to just drag this down off the steps and go get the lawnmower. And we'll see how it works. Okay, guys. So I figured it's probably easier to bring the car off the porch than it would be to go get the lawnmower and try to get that up on the on the porch. So I brought the car down. The good news is, is that even though it seems to be pretty sturdy and solid, it's lightweight. So it was pretty easy to maneuver. So now I'm going to see how easy it is to hook it up to the back of my mower here. Again... We're very thrifty and uh, we hate to spend money and so for the last few years we've actually dragged sleds around behind the mower but I finally decided to spend $118 before shipping and taxes. Taxes afterwards was $124 I bought on Amazon like everybody buys everything. Um, so 
because we have a lot of firewood we've got to get in this year and I'm just getting too old to I got to start worrying about saving my back so I'm trying to let's see if this works just stick it in there Are you getting a good view of that honey yeah. stick that down in there and I put the cotter pin back in as you can see there now let's see how it works I'm going to take a test drive over there to see if I can get some firewood and put it in here and see how it does. Well, so far so good. Uh, it says it can hold up to 350 pounds. I'm not gonna put that much in it. I just wanna get a little bit of a test here. That needs to be split. You know what, if I'm gonna... May as well put some wood in there that's already split that I'm gonna haul over to the uh, woodshed anyway. If I put a big log in there, I just have to haul it back over and split it, so. Well, that's about how much we would have put on a sled if that, and then would have, would have dragged it or tied it up to this. But, uh, you know, just to get a good accurate test, I am gonna put a little bit more in there. I'll just haul this stuff back over here later and split it. I mean, I kinda wanna see what this thing's gonna do. This won't be anywhere near 350 pounds, but I want to get a good, good sizable load. Ugh. Now, this is definitely more than we could have pulled on a sled. Um, we couldn't fit this much on the sled with the mower, and there would have been a lot more friction uh, putting too much work on the motor's engine because the sled has to slide, whereas with this cart we have wheels. And I certainly couldn't carry this all. So let's see how this goes. feel any resistance from a mower it's like it wasn't even there wheels are amazing whoever invented those I don't know if it's Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg it might have been John Rockefeller but whoever invented the wheel I'm very thankful for that person now there's actually a dumping mechanism on this cart I think it's right here so if we wanted to take this right out for a second Dump a lot of it, honey. Don't come over here. I want to show them the dumping mechanism. All I do is I pull this right here, and then that allows me to dump it the rest of the way so I can just again dump my firewood once I have it where I want it. Now I'm going to be putting it somewhere else, but by, by being able to dump this cart. Uh, this is taking more work off my back and this is why this is the main reason I bought this was to take the work off my back I'm getting too old to be using my back. So It was easy to put together it took me maybe 40 minutes and I'm terrible at putting things together as you saw it attaches easily It hauls quite a load. It has a dumping mechanism so that I can take the work off my back when I get the wood to where I want it Didn't seem to put any excessive stress on the motor when I pulled a full load so I'd say I got my $118 worth before shipping and taxes and then my $124 worth after shipping and taxes. So I highly recommend this product, not being paid to promote it, just showing you what we're doing here on our homestead so that if it can help you, you can make the same purchasing decision. Thanks for being with us here for another video and make sure to join us back for more later here at Homesteading Off The Grid.